What's happening? It's Sir William and Christy, and today we are at the South Carolina what RV, RV show? RV car expo. I don't know. RV things. It's some kind of RV show, and we've come here with a couple of intentions. As you guys know, we are fixing to go on the road full time, and what we're looking for today is solar, mm -hmm. batteries, batteries, and organizational style things. So let's go in here. What what else are we looking Nick for? Knickknacks. No knickknacks. <laughs> Big ass bus. <laughs> What'd you say about these things? So did you see how much they cost? They cost uh -uh. just as much as our twenty what is it? Twenty six foot tongue to tail. <laughs> Camper? Oh my this god. This does. Yes. No. I was like, god damn. I'd get claustrophobic. I, I can't handle that. That's I think too much tight. room in there. Mm -mm. I mean, this is literally like bringing a tent along with you. For 20 grand. 20 grand tent. So Christy's just amazed at the <laughs> fact that we're paying how much? 10 five for a mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get a mattress, some decorative pillows, um, a monitor. Oh, and it comes with your fire extinguisher. Oh, it does come with a fire extinguisher. Oh, wait, there's a kitchen. Oh, outdoor kitchen? Yeah. How much is this one, Christy? 135,000. 135,000. Let's see what we get. All right. Well, we're going to get two beds. I don't. Okay. Now, I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but ain't much business getting done on this here bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting this sleep together? We can't even sleep together in this one. No, separate beds. You know, but the thing is, is if you look at all of them, they've all got the same materials. BS materials that are gonna break, you know. What and then, like, for? if you look up underneath here, you see the same stuff. You do get a nice hose there for even the toughest stingleberries. What I liked about this initially was it appears that it has regular, like, suspension style, but if you look. It actually doesn't. It's got looks like torsion axles, just like regular, but just all terrain tires. I will say something that's offending me. What? People aren't helping us, but they're helping everyone older than us. He literally waited for us to leave and then talked to the older couple behind. It's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we've already bought one, I guess. I mean, one of these would be nice, but it's 30 feet. Typically, 27 feet from tongue till tail is going to be the limit on most of your national parks or any of the places that you'll be able to boondock. One thing I am noticing amongst the other manufacturers aside from ours is they use the PEX all the way up. You can't really see it in the video, but that's PEX piping all the way up instead of PEX to rubber hose. It's a plastic Dometic toilet, plastic sink. All right, so I'm here with Brett, and we're with Flex Armor, and he's showing me this really cool product that they have for the roof of the RV. So, Brett, take me through what the product is, what it does, and what's so important about it. It's a lifetime warranty roof, and there's absolutely no maintenance to it. There's no caulking, and most importantly, there's no leaks guaranteed. It is for the lifetime of the camper, so if you ever go to sell or trade uh, your unit, the warranty actually follows it. So you're pretty much buying peace of mind for your camper, which is unheard of in the camping world. If you look right here, it basically just goes on top of all of the caulking and anything else. And this is a little split demonstration. As you can see, this is going to be what your camper top looks like right now. And then after you put the flex coating on there, and it looks pretty thick too. How Absolutely. thick is it? 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. This all has a 3,500 PSI tear rate and it can elongate up to 600%. How much does it weigh? One pound per square foot. Okay. So spread right. out evenly over your camper, you're not affecting your towing or anything like that. It's also a great insulator. It can help five to seven degrees, which is a big deal in your camper. That's awesome, man. So 
with this right here right now every time that you go out you got to check the caulking on the top of your roof you got to check it every six months and redo it you got to clean it every six months this right here you're saying is zero maintenance. maintenance free no special chemicals no treatments or anything like that wash it when you want to with a mild detergent that's pretty sweet and it comes with a triple life guarantee absolutely yes sir when we get done with your roof you're completely sealed up from front to back every leak point we even go down into your gutters you're worry free you get to enjoy your camper that's awesome and for say about a 20 foot long travel trailer about what was something like this randomly well, you know our cost? price is 160 a linear foot so okay it's pretty cut and dry so for a 20 footer you're looking about 3200 dollars not bad for zero maintenance. Zero maintenance and a lifetime warranty. Well, cool, man. Where can they find you at? Kings Mountain, North Carolina, but there's also licensed applicators all across the country. Awesome. Well, appreciate it, Brett. Thank you. All right. So if we've got the, you know, cabin in the woods, I guess this would be considered... The cabin in the woods. <laughs> I mean, they come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but you know what I don't see on there, Christy? I don't see anything that's less than... 30 or 27 foot no. end to end. No. Let's go look anyway. Wow! Look at this. <laughs> I want this one. I mean, look, you got a dining room table for people that we don't have. Table for two. You got a uh, chair for both of us to sit in. And I guess if we did have friends, we could go there. Our got a little needs. fireplace. Our dog needs to go right here. Oh, our dogs will go right there, she says. You know, all this fanciness, and they still got a standard on-off switch. It's so crazy. What would you put in there? <laughs> Your guns? I do like these little directional lights, though, that are pretty cool. We could probably put those in ours. Christy calls this the doggy area, but I don't think it's necessarily a doggy area as much as it's just, well, a porch and a place where you can load your goodies. So this is where you would load your you know ATVs or eight or you know four-wheelers or whatever well I mean we could just put the dogs in this area <laughs> yeah so you get two two poopers in this one one next to the bed and then one in the very back so you know things get real yeah secret pooper I do like the back board up there So you get some fake cheese and grapes. Wow. You get a cover over your induction stove. Oh gosh. That's pretty cool. Your spices maybe? Yeah. You get a sharp instead of a high point. Drawers inside of your, or sliders inside of your drawers, which that's a good option there. We'll probably end up doing something like that in hours. Here's the deal. This is a 30. And Christy and I definitely think that... 30's worth that. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is, is again, you cannot go boondocking with anything more than 27 foot. In most places. Now, that's not, you know, everywhere. Then, I want you to notice something else. This has got an AC over here. It's got an AC over there. So, when all that stuff starts breaking, it's double care. Now, also, this one is aluminum sided instead of fiberglass sided, which... Depending on who you talk to will depend on which one's better or which one's worse. Uh, I'm up in the air. I think that you get more for your money whenever you go with an aluminum sided versus a fiberglass sided. And with the fiberglass sided, you have to worry about things like delamination. Whereas the aluminum sided, if something happens to it, you dent it up or anything like that, you can fix it yourself. You don't have to worry about taking it someplace to get it fixed or a really big repair bill. But most of the aluminum sided ones also come with wood frame which means that they're a whole lot heavier. So we've got an aluminum sided fiberglass. Which model do you guys think is better, aluminum or fiberglass? Leave a comment down below. So before I convince Christy that we could go travel along in just the travel trailer, I really wanted, well, a van like this one. But she talked me out of it, said that it just wouldn't be enough room. I and we, all of our stuff, and be working full time from the road. I fetch your desk right there. Oh my God, you barely get in. You gotta be four foot. And you're only five, so. Uh oh. There went one of the signs. Yeah, now you can't even watch TV. No, I don't. Be... 
<laughs> yeah, I don't really like this design. It's poor, I guess. Notice how it's separating already? Brand new! That's a Nobo. But you know, I'm convinced these things are all made, well, the same. They are. That's a pretty cool feature. Well, what did you think about the RV show? Um, I wanted to see more like RV related stuff, not campers. Yeah. Like stuff for solar. A lot of campers. Yeah. Not really a whole lot of RV accessories and no. goodies or anything. So yeah. we did find uh, the folks over there at the the roof place there. That was good. That yeah, was pretty that cool. Was Other than that, um, it's the same stuff that you're gonna find at. Uh, you know, Camping World or any of those other places, or the dealership. Now, if you're looking to purchase an RV and you want to see a lot yeah. in one spot, these are perfect places to go to purchase an RV. But, Tons of different brands, options, yeah. floor plans. Alright, well let's go get some burners chicken. Yeah. Let's roll. Now the one thing that was without a doubt noticeable, Christy and I both noticed it. Hmm. Didn't matter where we went. We didn't get bothered by not one single salesperson. No. Not one. Well, and that we didn't have anybody bother us at the dealerships either. Yeah. We had to go ask for somebody. Dur yeah, each time that we've gone to any dealerships looking at these things, we've never had anybody bother us. Never had anybody bother us at this show. No. Now, if you appeared to be... You know when you go to the store and they don't check your ID to buy any alcohol because you may appear to be over 50 or 40 or something like that? Let me tell you, those RV guys, buddy, they were following them around with a notepad <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. But Christy and I, Vultures. nope, not one single one. 